You are live. See, it says it right there on the screen, so I know I'm live. But you know what? I'm going to make people mad, and I'm going to... Uh, dang it, it won't let me rotate the device. Dang it, I'm on the wrong side then. Oh, well. We'll give everybody a chance to jump on. Hey, I'm a little early today. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, there is not a rooster Cogburn in this. He's dead. It's called John Wayne. Gosh. Hey, Pete, how you doing? How's everybody? 79 people on already. How about that? How cool is that? Oh, 88. Sorry. <laughs> it keeps going up. Carlos. Hola, amigo. How are you? Tyler, goodness, goodness, goodness. Pete, you're from Massachusetts. So is my mom. It was a lot of fun. Man, I'm mad that I flipped my phone the wrong direction because the camera's over here and the questions are over there. So it's going to look like I'm not even looking at the camera. Dang it. So, hey, Alex. Hey, look what I got, buddy. I am sitting at the New England Paddle Sports Show at the University of New Hampshire. So if any of you knuckleheads live up this area, Come on in and see me at the Bonafide booth. I, uh, I'm doing actually doing pool demos. They have an Olympic-sized swimming pool right down the hall. And I've got my Bonafide that I put in about an hour ago. And I'm going to be doing one at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I'll be doing two on Sunday. Uh, come watch me fall in the water. Isn't that right, Alex? No, I'm doing uh, demos to show how stable the Bonafide is. So uh, we're going to do an abbreviated... Uh, Friday Night Live, just because they're going to shut this place down at 9 o'clock. So this one's all probably going to, only going to be about 20 minutes long. Uh, and then I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat some dinner. But somebody just asked me for my opinion on something. What's my opinion on the Bonafide? Okay, since I have one sitting next to me, I'm going to take the advantage of showing this thing off. The Bonafide SS-127. Here is the, this is, this is a, a demo boat, and this is a model that they're actually going to sell at this show. They've got 12 of them for sale here. It's 15% off, so you get a hundred and how many dollars off? Yeah, it's almost $200 off at the show right here. So uh, if you guys are anywhere around, come buy it. But um, it's got a really high seat. If you look, what I love about this is that when I sit down, so here's the seat behind me, I don't have to look for the seat. It's sitting right there. So I'm not searching for the seat. I'm not flopping down on it. It's so high that it's like sitting in another chair. And uh, that's what I love the most about it. The second thing is, is the, the stability. Because it's so stable, you're able to have a high seat and it doesn't get wobbly. Uh, in my demo today, I stepped into the back of the boat and I crawled to the front of the boat or climbed to the front of the boat and uh, it didn't have any problems so very stable um very fishable it's got places for your rods it's got places for your fish finder it's got it was designed by an engineer who kayak bass fishes so you get a boat that was designed by a fisherman not by a whitewater kayaker or an engineer who likes to whitewater kayak like other companies do but anyway so do I fish kayak tournaments? Um, I actually am starting to. I don't fish very many of them just because I travel a lot and I like to make videos. But uh, I'm going to be fishing a lot of local clubs and doing videos about it. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I just saw another one. Um, what's a good affordable first time kayak? Goodness, there's so many of them. It uh, depends on what you mean affordable. Is uh, the vibe's really good? The... Um, the perceptions are good. Those are good for first time. If you don't want to spend $1,300 or $1,600 on something like a Bonafide, then get something a little, little less expensive for your first one. So, um, why are there, there are no bass in Lake Hartwell? I hate Lake Hartwell. It's a, it, I just hate it. I'm not even going to get into it. I'm doing a live, dude. I got 139 people watching me. Hey, hi guys. Hey. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Yep. So we are, uh, we're tired. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me go to another one. What's up? Uh, hey, Mitten Outdoors. How are you, man? Sean says, how, uh, hope you're enjoying the, the tropical New Hampshire spring weather. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little chilly and windy. For sure. Um, do I do any trolling? No, I don't have a... Um, Ryan Lewis, go Vols. Yeah, I, I, you know, 
That's almost a Tennessee orange, but it's not because it doesn't like orange sherbet. So, um, Alex uh, says, Gene, do you have a torpedo on your SS-127? I do not yet. I'm waiting on a mounting bracket is what I'm waiting on. So I'm going to walk around the show a little bit. Um, I'd love to catch another seven, another pair of sevens. How'd you guys like that video, by the way? So, Stephen Walden, am I going to fish up there? Stupid me. Okay, I'm an idiot. Absolute stupid idiot. I didn't look at my calendar. I was going to come up here. I was going to stay a few days after the show, and I was going to fish. Got up here, looked at my calendar, and I've got to be at Fall Creek Falls State Park on Tuesday. Actually, I was supposed to be there on Monday, but I'm gonna, I told him I was going to get there on Tuesday. It's a 20-hour drive, so I've got to haul butt as soon as this show is over and start heading south again. I'm such an idiot. I wanted to fish uh, ice out up here so bad, um, so I'm going to do it next year. Dumb, 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 dumb. Anyway. Scott uh, McCall says, what's my career personal best? It's uh, 10 pounds, 12 ounces. Uh, if you're talking about a bass, if you're talking about fish, it's uh, over 250 pound Goliath grouper out of a kayak. Um, how many years have been fishing before I caught that personal best? I caught that personal best four years ago. So a long time, but you catch personal bests, you know, it just kind of gets harder and harder as they get bigger and bigger, I guess. Um, Let's see, I caught my first bass, thanks to you. Cool, man, appreciate it. Ryan Lewis, what'd you just say? What's going on at Fall Creek Falls? I'm actually filming there for two or three days. Uh, just something, a deal that I worked out with Fall Creek Falls. They're letting me stay in one of their cabins and I'm gonna get to film in their lake and uh, be able to show off the, the, the park. Just something I'm trying new this year, uh, trying to partner up with some of these state parks because there's some really nice ones around the area, so. Um, how do I like New Hampshire? It is beautiful. A little wet and cold right now, but not too bad. Um, let's see. Joyce Reed talks about the blue bona fide. This one that's right here. She says it looks like Florida Gator, Gator, Gator colors, and that's exactly what I said when I saw it. And I told them that I would never, ever fish out of one. <laughs> so... Oh, man. So I'm going to do this for just a little bit longer. Like I said, they shut this thing down in just a few minutes. They're going to turn the lights out, and I'm going to have to go eat dinner. So, um, Mark Petro's favorite chatterbait trailer is a Strike King Rage Tail Menace because you can turn it sideways and not rip the little tabs apart, and it kicks like a, a bluegill, or you can turn it si the other way and rip them apart. It looks like a, 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 a crawfish. So very versatile. That's why I like it. Man, I can't believe I freaking put the... I flipped my phone over the wrong direction to start this thing, and it won't let me flip it back. So, what lake do I like to fish in North Carolina? I have not fished anything but Richmond Mill, which is that private lake I used to guide on. Uh, Fall Creek Falls is in Tennessee. Um, am I using Fish Reveal yet? No, because for some reason... They won't let you, it says you can update it through your cell phone or through a Wi-Fi connection, but it's not working. So I'm going to have to do it with an SD card and I just haven't done it yet. So, uh, Brian Miller, Rancher Blue Cheese, or Blue Cheese every single time. I actually like just straight blue cheese on crackers. So I'm, I'm kind of weird like that. I'm a connoisseur of blue cheese. Art Tillman, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. You're awesome. Love your videos, Gene. Keep them up. SEC rocks. Yes. Go dogs. Uh, what's my favorite rod brand? 13. I'm sponsored by them, but I would not be sponsored by them if they were not good rods. I love them. I beat the crap out of them. Yes, I do break them because I do stupid things. Very stupid things sometimes. Um, like slam them in my car door. Um, but they're good rods and they hold up really, really well if you don't do stupid things. Um, Phil Carr says, thanks for teaching me how to fish. So glad to see you in a kayak. That's my main interest. Yeah, kayak fishing's a lot of blast. I've been doing it a long time. It's just that you finally gotten to the point where, the, where I can mount cameras to a kayak. Um, I've been kayaking for probably 10 years, 11 years now. So Alex, brother, thanks for the, the five bucks, man. We need to do a collab here shortly. I've heard your I've heard your name here in the kayak in the booth three times today, man. So you're you're getting out there. Your YouTube channel is definitely getting out there. So. Um, he says he loves my shirts. That's right, guys. Check out my new um, 
my new website, flukemaster.com. Go check out all the, the, uh, the shirts and the hats and all the other cool stuff. I just looked at uh, proof for a tumbler. I'm going to have one of those little stainless steel tumblers. It's going to have a Fluke Master logo on it. Um, we got some cool stuff coming out in it. But anyway, go check that out. Uh, what's my favorite store to shop at for anything for fishing? If it's a, a regular box store, it's going to be Sportsman's Warehouse. Um, if it is online, it's Tackle Warehouse. Um, on my website, actually, I'm selling 13 rods and reels on my website, too, which is pretty cool. And for the next couple of days, for just my apparel, uh, it's uh, you get, um, I can't remember, is it 15% off on my apparel? I think it is. I'm dyslexic with numbers, remember, guys, so I have a hard time remembering that kind of stuff. Um, can you launch from the surf on a bona fide? I have not tried it. Um, I've heard some people try it. Some guys say they like it. Some people say they don't. I don't see, I don't think there's a problem. But I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Uh, Carter Rowe, man, thanks for the $4.99. Thanks for making great videos. You will be at the show tomorrow around 7.30 p.m. Yes, I will. I'm going to be at the show every day from open to close. Um, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I'll be doing a pool demo of the Bonafide SS-127. And then on Sunday, I'll be doing two pool demos. And I can't remember what the times are. I know one's around lunchtime. So... Um, Mark Petro, thanks for all the time and effort you've spent on your videos. Uh, they truly help the fish com fishing community. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I really do. Those, that's always nice to read that. Um, let's see. You still running the EcoMap 93 SV? No, I'm not. I'm running uh, the Lowrance. I went back to Lowrance. I know I ate crow. I said I hated Lowrance. I was mad at him and everything else. But I went back to Lowrance, and I'm using the, uh, the uh, carbons now. So goodness my favorite bass rod overall is a seven foot three medium fast action fate chrome $80 it's my favorite rod it's what I use most of most of the time say um, let's see killer outdoors a uh, good question why am I not fishing the FLW because if I fish the FLW I would stop making videos and I would feel like crap because I am not a tournament angler. I am a, I'm a teacher. I'm an okay fisherman who loves to teach. And that's why I'm not fishing FLW. Uh, hey, Gina, watch your videos every day. Keep up the good work. Nice to see you in the Northeast. I'm a Massachusetts fisher myself. You know what's really cool? My mom's from Massachusetts. I just I went and visited. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram video or my Facebook video. I went and visited a graveyard about 20 minutes south of where I'm at right now that has eight generations of my grandparents buried in it, all the way back to before the, the, uh, the Revolutionary War. So it was pretty neat to go see all of that. So, um, so yes, I have, I'm half Yankee. <laughs> my Jackson, uh, let's see. What do I think of the Kusa FD? Good question, West Coast Bass. And I can't pedal a Kusa FD. I can't pedal any of the pedal drives except for the Hobie um, because I have a bad hip thanks to the U.S. Army. Um, but uh, it has nothing to do with that. It's just I can't make that motion. So that's why you never saw me in FD when I was with Jackson. Um, where are you in New Hampshire? I'm at the University of New Hampshire at the pool house is where we will be from tomorrow morning to tomorrow night and Sunday morning to, to, to Sunday night. It's, a, it's the New England Paddle Sports Show. You can look it up on Google and, uh, and see the times and everything else. So, um, let's see. Um, come fish Champlain. I wish I could. Like I said a little while ago, I screwed up and I scheduled a, a, um, a fishing um filming trip in tennessee on tuesday so i've got to haul butt home and drive 20 hours in less than 24 hours and get back there so i it sucks so all right i'm gonna jump out of here we're gonna go eat some lunch or eat some dinner um sorry it's so short tonight guys but thanks for uh thanks for the donation saying thanks for watching um and uh i'm gonna do another one of these before the weekend's up so stay tuned later